This is a very special celebration as today we unveil the naming of this very special unit, the Ron and Nancy Clark Stem Cell Transplantation and Cellular Therapies Unit. We are incredibly grateful to the Clark family and to all of the donors who supported the Tomorrow Stems From You campaign. Thank you. I'm here on this momentous occasion for three reasons. I have had the honor of being the chair of the uh, fundraising campaign for the stem cell transplant unit. I've had the privilege in doing so of working with a dedicated and passionate team to make this dream a reality. Secondly, I'm the chair of the board of Hamilton Health Sciences. And together with my board colleagues, we are very proud today to um, have this stem cell transplant unit uh, opened and unveiled so that we can care for patients in the future. Finally, and more personally, my brother, Vince, was a patient, and I know firsthand the kind of care that is provided here. And knowing that, I am very grateful that many, many more people will be served and, and treated here. So on behalf of my family, the board and the foundation, I thank every single person that had anything to do with the realization of this dream. This is a very special occasion for us uh, here at Hamilton Health Sciences and the Jurovinsky Hospital and Cancer Center. Uh, our cancer program and particularly the, the blood disorders, uh, malignant hematology program uh, has been a uh, landmark in the region and across the province in uh, serving patients and families with uh, leukemia, lymphoma and multiple myeloma. The opening of uh, this unit gives us extra capacity to serve uh, not just uh, our local population but the broad region and uh, to contribute to the initiative at a provincial uh, level. We're so grateful to all of the donors, to the Clarks, and, and all of the donors who have supported us previously, and then especially through the Tomorrow Stems From You campaign. Uh, this unit is remarkable. It's going to benefit a lot of patients. It's going to support uh, research to make uh, treatments better for future patients, and we're just so grateful. Thank you so much. I also want to add my thanks to the Ontario Ministry of Health, and to Cancer Care Ontario. They've provided leadership and guidance as we've moved towards opening this unit that has been several years in the making. So thank you to all. I'm Dr. Kylie Leppin, the medical director of the Cellular Therapy and Transplant Unit here at the Jurabinsky Hospital and Cancer Centre. And I'm pleased to welcome you to the new wing here for hematology patients, the Ron and Nancy Clark Stem Cell Transplantation and Cellular Therapies Unit. We're located here on the fourth floor of the Jurabinsky Hospital and Cancer Centre. And we're very excited to open our doors to patients. This unit is here to service hematology patients, particularly patients with disorders such as leukemia, lymphoma, and multiple myeloma, as well as other important diseases of the blood and marrow. Here we are in one of the patient rooms here in the new unit. When this new unit was designed, it included the input from many different people. And that really was the goal to make it as patient friendly for families and patients as possible, as well as extremely functional. And we relied on many sources, particularly the Patient and Family Advisory Committee, or PFAC, to give us some very important insights into how to make the room the best it could be for patients and their families. Our PFAC representative gave us ideas about the layout of the room, in terms of even how the door opens and how a patient will be needing to move throughout the room so they have no barriers or obstacles to allow them to get where they need to be in a room when they're not feeling at their best. You can see that each patient room has a very large window and that's important because patients here, when they undergo stem cell transplant, their length of stay in the hospital can be up to four to six weeks. And so we're trying to make that time here as comfortable as possible. The rooms here on the unit are specially equipped with state-of-the-art equipment, including something as simple as a sink here in the patient room, which is important obviously for hygiene and patients' daily use, but is actually used as well uh, with special temperature control to help us thaw the stem cells which are actually frozen for many types of stem cell transplant. 
Each patient room is equipped with its own washroom. And that's important for infection protection purposes for patients undergoing stem cell transplant. It's also great for privacy. And so each washroom, of course, also has a, a shower right in the room, a very spacious washroom as well without any barriers or obstacles. The rooms have positive pressure ventilation. And that's a very important airflow that is necessary for patients undergoing stem cell transplant. Patients undergoing stem cell transplant are at risk of infection because of lower or compromised immune systems due to the disease, as well as the treatment while they're waiting to recover. So it's very important that the airflow in these rooms pushes air out. So we're pushing out any possible contaminants or pushing out any risk of infection from entering these specialized rooms. And that is unique to each of these rooms here on the unit, uh, as well as the unit itself, which has that important positive pressure ventilation that we call it. Also, you'll notice as we walk throughout the unit, the different color scheme. Indigenous consultation was sought to make sure we have the best colors for the healing environment that we were looking for for these patients. More specifically, you'll notice the colors are representing Mother Earth and sky, as these are felt to have healing properties and create a healing environment, which is important for patients and their families as they go through this challenging process. And here we have a patient consult room. So this is a space where patients and their families can meet with their healthcare team. And we have two such wonderful rooms here on the new unit. Here we have the nursing station where a lot of the important action happens from our healthcare team. Here in the unit, one very important part, especially today, is where we store our personal protective equipment. And here we have one of our meeting rooms. We need to have a very specialized team of individuals to care for these patients. The physicians, the nurse practitioners, their nurses, allied health. The new unit is equipped with two family rooms. These areas are places where families and visitors can relax in the lounge while their loved ones are undergoing these procedures. Behind me is Oncology Day Services. Finishing up its final stages of construction is an expansion to our ODS. This expansion will include increased area for apheresis, which is the procedure where stem cells are actually collected. It also includes uh, new patient assessment areas for scheduled and unscheduled or urgent care, as well as treatment bays where patients can receive things like transfusions and other important therapies and medications. The expansion also has included an increase to our pharmacy, which is very important because this is where some of the specialized medications are prepared and it is now furnished with the latest technology that will help with dispensing as well as compounding or mixing these important specialized medications. The new unit here at the Jervinsky Hospital will allow us to meet the ongoing increased need for stem cell transplant and cellular therapy for patients regionally as well as provincially. But not only that, it'll help us to expand our hematology program in terms of education of new hematologists and fellows, nurse practitioner, nurses and allied health. It also will allow us to expand our research mission to make sure more patients can be a part or opportunity to participate in clinical trials and other studies that help advance the science behind stem cell transplant cellular therapy. In addition to the 15 bed unit you see here, an expansion to pharmacy and oncology day services, there's also been an expansion to the clinic rooms called Clinic F at the Jervinsky Cancer Center where patients are seen for their outpatient visits. Also, there's an expansion to the stem cell lab which includes increased area for more freezer space, as for many patients undergoing stem cell transplant, their stem cells are actually frozen to protect them until they're ready for the patient to receive them. Thank you to all the donors who helped make the stem cell unit a reality. Thanks for making a vital difference. Hi, my name is Frank Tussaw, and I'm pleased to talk to you a bit about the new stem cell unit at Jervinsky and the expanded cancer services. As a cancer survivor, I know firsthand what this means to cancer patients. You see, I was diagnosed with double hit lymphoma. I underwent 84 chemo treatments and spent 82 days in this hospital. The last part of my treatment was a stem cell transplant. I owe my life to this amazing treatment and to the supportive care of my wife, my four daughters, family, friends, 
and the incredible nurses, doctors, and staff here at Dravinsky. Following my treatment, I was looking for a way to give back. I applied for and was selected to join the Dravinsky Patient and Family Advisory Council. Through this committee, I have been involved in a number of initiatives, including advising the design team on the layout of this new expansion. I took into account my patient experiences at Dravinsky. So to have rooms that are bright and airy with outside light and also areas for families to come when they visit is a godsend for these patients. So on behalf of all patients, I thank you for your generous support.